Hey. Hi. So, you still up for trying to figure out a way to go to the Winter Festival? We have to go. It's the only way that we'll get a chance to be alone together. And sometimes it's worth taking a risk. And your parents definitely said no. No, are you kidding? They're totally into it. My mom's at home making me a ski bunny outfit. Of course they said no. What about your mom? Did you ask her again? She flipped. I mean, because she's afraid you'll be there. But this is so not about us. I don't see why we have to suffer for something that our parents did back in college. So we're really going to do this? Just go anyway? If we don't, we might not see each other again until we're 18. And look at them stealing a few precious moments together. Isn't it enough to make you puke? They're going to figure out you're not really their friend. Well, if they figure that out, then I'm not going to be able to bring them down. And if I can't bring them down, I'm going to be unhappy. And if I'm unhappy, I'm going to take it out on you. Right? You know what you have to do, don't you? Brittany, Amber, you're late. Please get seated. Are you and Cole going to the Winter Festival? Yeah, right, like that'll happen. Sorry, anything I can do? Okay, everybody, please get out your copies of Great Expectations. Yes, Amber. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say that me and Brittany... Brittany and I. <laughs> right. We weren't supposed to be late, but I couldn't get to my locker because Cole and Star were standing in front of it. Amber, why are you always trying to cause trouble for two people that haven't done anything to you? Todd gave a that. Why are you sticking up for me? Girls, please. I just think what Amber did is wrong. Everyone knows Star and Cole aren't supposed to see each other. Ladies, rules aren't rules if they get broken. Amber, that's not fair. It's not Star's fault if she and Cole run into each other in the hallway. You know she's up to something. Your little act is so lame. Oh, Leonard, go bleach your muscles. Okay. Oh, no, okay, oh, quiet oh. now! I said be quiet. Star and Cole are in the same school. They are going to run into each other. But I just thought... Amber, nobody likes a rat. I'm going to ignore this. Do not make me but wish I... I had it. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Okay, let's turn our attention to a slightly less complicated couple, shall we? And turn to page 171. I have some announcements to get through before the bell rings, so listen up. School is out early today because of a teacher's conference. Okay, yeah, I know you're all heartbroken. And those of you going to the trip to the Winter Festival need to have your permission slips uh, in before you board the bus. It leaves half an hour before dismissal, and we'll be returning to school parking lot at 11 p.m. Have fun. Listen, we need to talk now. Amber ratted the two of you out in English today. You're kidding. Mm-hmm. Oh, but it's okay, because your new best friend, Brittany, took her on. What? Brittany went to bed for us? Yeah, it was so moving, I could cry. No, 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 she's trying to set us up. You think? Are you in trouble? Miss McBain said that she would let it go. Don't look at her, look at me. Look, other teachers aren't as cool as Miss McBain, so Star and I came up with a plan where you two don't have to talk to each other when other people are around. Yeah, it's like Serena de Bergeron. Mm -hmm. All right, you two are losing me here. It's a play. Serena's this dude with a big nose, and he's too shy to hook up with this hot girl named Roxanne, so he gets this guy named Christian to write love... No, wait, that's not right. He writes love letters for a guy named Christian, who also likes her. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. You guys are going to have to help me out with this one. I, I, why, how is that like us? Okay, look. I can talk to you, and I can talk to Star without getting in trouble. So I'll be like the middleman. For example, Star still wants to hang out after school today. Okay. Does that make you the guy with the love letters? Or the guy with the big nose? <laughs> It'd be so cool if you and Cole could go to the Winter Festival together. Yeah. It would just make your day, wouldn't it? What do I have to do to prove that I'm on your side? 
How about you stop wearing pink shoes and washing your hair? Oh, come on. The Winter Festival is awesome. And I think it sucks that you have to stand here and watch while Cole talks to your best friend. I know I was a little bit of a... Of a... A witch. Just, if there's anything I can do for you two, just let me know, okay? Okay, well, the best thing that you could do for us right now is to keep your mouth shut. I just, I want you to know I'm not out to get you. So is everything clear here? Yeah. You're good to go. So what did Brittany say? Oh, she says that she wants to help me and Cole. No way. She totally told Amber to say that in class. Don't worry. I'm on to Brittany. Make Star trust you? No, I had to leave before I could do that. But I can still make sure Star and Cole's little date to the Winter Festival is one they're never gonna forget.